Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Mischief Makers. Last time, we finished up all there was to do in Megan's Shrine. We got all the missing gold gems, we beat the Megans, and rescued our prof, but it was a short-lived victory as he was kidnapped once again. Apparently, he was made into the grand prize for Mount Snow's Winter Olympics. So today, I hope you all packed a nice warm sweater, bundled up real nice and tight, because we are going to be heading off to Mount Snow with Clampot Shake. It's, it's very orange here. I do love Mount Snow. It is probably my favorite section of the entire game just because of how enjoyable it is and also because of the fact that I'm insane and actually do like uh, snow and ice levels. Anyways, what do you got to say, buddy? You're wearing a Santa hat, so you can't be all that evil. This brown pot is called a clam pot. You can use it to store anything you want. Store an item, release it on top of the pot. To take the item out, stand on top of the pot. Hmm, I wonder. You got anything? Thank you for your obligation. So yeah, the, the clam pot is basically the uh, main gimmick for this level, and it actually does show up in a future level as well. Uh, if we give it a good shake, unfortunately we can't really do anything because there's nothing in there to drop. We need to feed it some ingredients, so drop a bunch of these blue gems down. I think we have enough in there. Let's give it a good shake. And with that, a good amount of shaking, mix it all together, and we get ourselves a nice little green gem. To get the gold gem for this level, we ne actually need to get two green gems, then shake the clam pod to mix the two green gems together to get the gold gem. So, don't want to go a little insane. Shake that and we get ourselves a couple grenades. Is two all we need for the bomb? No, I think it needs to be three or four. A couple flowers. Do the flowers give me anything? Yes, they do. See, combine two flowers together gives us a throwing star. Okay. Not really what I was expecting, but I'll go with it for now. If you grab the clam pot by holding it down, you can check its contents. Wait, was that it? Oh, there we go. The items are marked with numbers. By pressing L or R, you can ch change their order. But yeah. Go down here. Grab the clam pod by holding down, you can check its content. Okay, like this. Oh, I never actually noticed that. So yeah, we can we can sort through the items that are inside the clam pod and just by checking it. I never actually noticed that in all the years I played this game. I never actually talked to the clancers around here. That's probably why, because I'm a complete and total idiot. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to mix in together right now. That gives us nothing, so let's go talk to Miss Hint, what, shall we? The clam pot has a big secret. The secret is in mixing items. After placing the items on it and shaking it well, they will be mixing it. You're just telling me stuff that I've already done! Recipes for- okay, here's something new. Four bombs make a clam bomb. Two flowers make a ninja star. There are many combinations, and try to combo- Try and combo you want, you might find something new. Yeah. Alright, so that was actually kind of helpful. Wait. Hold on a second. One, two ninja stars, three, four... Oh, that's just the number it, of it. Unfortunately, we can't uh, raise the clam pot and grab the gems that are already out in the field, so we're going to need to find another... Oh, hi, thank you so much, you are so kind. Oh, thank you! Man, these clanters are so generous! We need to find another uh, clam ball to dispense the uh, blue gems so that we can get ourselves our gold gem. But for now, let's give this thing a good shake. Get ourselves one shiny brand new clam bomb. And let's put it to good use. Not doing that. Nope, Maria. There we go. I just realized how much damage we had taken during that Meekin fight. My god. It might not have been the fight itself, it might have just been the, the times I went back to uh, go for the gold gem, because let me tell you, getting getting the gold gem for boss fights in this game, not the easiest thing in the world. Especially when it comes to the ones where it's like, oh, don't you don't have to shake the boss, you actually have to uh, beat the entire boss encounter without taking one bit of damage. 
Let's grab these, make a couple of ninja stars. Oops. Mix them all together, and what do you got? A nice little instrument of death. I think we got enough for a second ninja star as well. So, around the time of this recording, uh, things have been going on about around the Smashverse, and from what I've been hearing about the rumors, I'm kind of hoping it's true. Oh, finally, there are blue gems. I think that might be enough. No, but we can mix our three shurikens together. What do we get from that? A boomerang. All right. Mix these together. Get ourselves our second gold gem, and now that should be enough. Yep. Mix two green gems together. And there's our gold gem. I like the little tuna plays. That's actually a little bit of a hint to something later in the... Uh, I guess you could say the storyline for Mount Snow. Because each kind of has its own, like, centralized story. Ooh, that's not it. Ooh. Get it up there. There we go. I mean, I probably should just use the clam bo uh, ball as a protective shield, but whatever. Hmm. Probably should. Nope, wait, it just drops us off up here. What do you got to say? That bouncing thing is called a jump clancer. Once you grab it, you can control it. Use left and right to move left and right, and jump to keep holding up. With the jump clancer, you can go anywhere you want to, even on the thorns. Well, he's a very nice fellow. Why don't we uh, take him for a spin? Grab ourselves our, so, a little nice green gem to heal up. And just bounce our way on, on top of these spikes. Thank you, friend. You were truly helpful in this time. In this trying time, I, I can't talk. Farewell, friend. Have fun doing whatever it is you do. But yeah, as I was saying before, I kind of got a little off track. Uh, there's been a lot of hints around the Smashverse about an upcoming character for for one of the fighter packs. And I'm hoping that the rumors are true and Maria is actually going to be a future fighter because... Oh, oh no! Ah, uh, no! I think he... No. I think one of these guys has the gold gem in it. Not him. Oh, boy. It's a straight-up war zone here. Holy hell. But, yeah. I'm hoping the rumors are true, and Maria is actually a future fighter because she was actually a really popular character during like the original Smash thing uh, before Bayonetta was announced as a fighter. Because she was actually one of the top contenders for it. A lot of people really wanted Maria to be in, a, in Smash Bros. almost as much as they wanted like Bayonetta of all characters, um, uh, Banjo Kazooie, all that stuff. And the fact that we're getting them along with some lesser known characters like Kiro from. Dragon Quest. Honestly, I'd be 100% okay with that. Maria needs more love. She she desperately needs more recognition in the gaming universe because she is one of the best underrated heroines of the series. Man, this boomerang is useless. I can already picture how her move sets are gonna go. I kind of want don't want to get into it until like maybe near the end of the game because it's kind of spoilers for upcoming uh, things that we're going to be doing both in this chapter and in the next couple. So if like at the very end of the series we'll give it a little bit of a one silver. Hi buddy, how's it going? Oh, that's a nice little mini rocket launcher you got there. Ow, dicks. Oh, oh. there we go. Ah, man, I forgot to grab the rocket launcher. Wow, that was it for the level? Not much of a war, more like a light skirmish. Also, there what went the gold gem we were going to get. I guess it was that first guy that completely just took off into the air out of reach. 
Ah, oh, well, we'll get a chance at him again in the future. All right, time to surf the missile. Literally, we are we are going to be surfing the missile. This is the main gimmick for this level, and it's kind of annoying. I'm not going to say surfing this missile is handled really well, because anything that lightly decides to brush against the half-quarter mile radius around the missile is magnitudes of... Oh, hey, the missile has to go off now, because something lightly brushed past the exhaust fumes of the rocket. I was kind of hoping I would have snagged that gold gem. Uh, or gold gem. Green gem. I can't know my colors tonight. Thankfully, you don't actually lose health or, or, or anything if the missile explodes. You just go back to a checkpoint. Also, that that that's just wrong on so many levels. To get the gold gem for these, this level, we need to ride this missile to the very end and then go a little past where the exit gate is because there's a... I think it was a bit of an alcove that we need to jump into or it was something we needed to drive the missile itself into. Oh god, the Clancer augmentation is getting out of control. Uh-oh. Ooh! I like how they just have flashlights strapped to their head as a form of headlight. That's cute. Ooh. No! Ooh. This might be needed. It's definitely needed. Alright. Let's write this missile up because as you can see, the gem's right there making a little bit of an arrow. So we write this baby right up to the corner of this map. And lo and behold, floating up here is our gold gem. I thought it was in like a little alcove. I guess I was wrong. And thus we constitute ourselves into the war. Many lives were lost as that missile continued to fly off into the distance. Alright. Not many people can say they surf a missile. I think we have Knuckles uh, beat in terms of the thing where it was like the beginning of Sonic X where he just surfs a missile. Also, I think... Was it Contra that they also served missiles? I don't know. Alright, Clam Ball Lift. I don't actually remember where the gold gem is in this. If I somehow come across it, it's going to be a miracle, and it's completely by accident. For now, I think you can understand what the mechanic for this level is. Just basically, it's a little bit of a ski lift. You get into the top of this little mountain top right here, and just use the Clam Balls to avoid the spikes. Also, it has one of my favorite levels playing. Although, given the setting that we're at, it kind of, you know, doesn't really fit. I don't know. When I, when I think of, like, this music... Ow. You dick! There we go. When I think of this music, I don't really think of, oh, slowly riding a lift up to a mountaintop more, more so... Uh, just exploring, like, deep tombs or caves and stuff. Still a great melody, I will give it that, but still. Just not in this setting. Checking these. I wouldn't put it past this game to hide a gold gem in here, and you have to, like, swing yourself back and forth to snag it before it falls into the abyss below. How do we get up there? There we go. Hmm. You're coming with me, buddy. You gave it to me for a reason, and I want to know what that reason is. Come on, buddy. Maybe a little further back. Up! She throws it a little too low, is it? that just a fixed location for it? Yeah. Aha! There we go. I knew I'd get it up there eventually. Yeah. You're coming with me. Go, friend! Oops. I messed up the timing on that one. Alright. Let's wait for him to swing back. I think 
one more good swing and we'll grab a hold. Hello, friends. Ooh, what's this? Gold gem? Don't mind if I do. I, li I always like that. I always thought this was like a little crash plane that you see there just because of the, the sled right there kind of made it look like a wing for it. But no, it's just a nice little igloo house. It's got style. Also, I love the little clan snowman over there. It's adorable. Also, apparently it's alive because it's got the glowing red eyes. Apparently, just give anything a very sad face in this planet and it just amazingly becomes sentient. All right. Let's go, Marzen 64. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Now, Gold Gem, where would you be hiding? Could it be in this guy? This jerk who's just pile driving me with his jetpack? Let's see. Not so tough now, are you, buddy? Look how sad you are. Go flying. Hmm. I think I probably should have... No, there's nothing to make a clam bomb with. Aha! Except for the clam uh, block right here. Oh, you know we gotta put that hat in there. Ah. Just gonna kill him with the, the thing. Ow. Ow, you jerk. Alright, fine. I won't go up there. I can take a hint. Is there anything we can make? Yes, actually, we can make a clam bomb. Let's head back over here and grab ourselves a green gem and put a bunch of reds. Just in case something happens. Okay, there it goes. Probably should just give it a good couple shakes just to speed up the process. Anything else in here? Ah, we got two flowers. Alright, so we got a gun, we got a hat, flower, 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 lots of flowers. There's a regular um boutique in there grab that combine one more set and then we'll combine into a boomerang it's fun to mix and match stuff you know what? No. I'm not letting him win this one. I will beat him to death with this pot if I have to. Here, see? That's what happens when you get my way. Oh, you want... You came back for more? Well, there. Now you're dead. And what did we learn, people? Let's see. Got anything down here, buddy? Nope, he's just having a good time down there. You know, a war going on, people dying left and right, but you know what, I'm gonna go for a little hop. So, oh, get, that, get that back in there. Put that thing right back where it came from, or so help me. You know what? Human shield. Yeah. Or, well, clan shield, I guess. Yeah. Shake, shake. Yeah. These guys are just having a good old time with the explosions going on in the background. That's a minefield. Apparently, they're, they're waging war on a theme park, it seems. Just with all, all the fun and uh, adventurous things that are going on here. You got the, those clan springs, you got these clan ball rides. Ooh. You got near bottomless pits you almost fall into. 
bring the kids. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go this way real quick and see if there's anything over here. Because something tells me there's some red gems over here. Hmm. Figured it would be the gold gem, but all right. Shows what I know. The game loves to prove me to be a liar. Some more stuff. I saw a bunch of. Hang on a second. Aha! Wait, now how am I supposed to get in? There must be like a teleporter in there. Honestly, I do not remember this level at all. I remember most of the levels in this game pretty well. Whoop! Ah. All right, Marina. Grabbing stuff and shaking it is your specialty. So why are you having so much problems grabbing this one small pink clam ball? There we go. One, two, three, four. Mm, all right, so don't drop it in there. Unless... Nope, that wasn't it. Mm. Not sure what they wanted me to do with that thing. I bet you anything that the gold gem was inside that... That clam... Uh, the clam bag. Clam pot, whatever they call it. Yeah, it was most definitely in there. I maybe had to... Oh, hey, it's this jerk! How's it going, buddy? Enjoying the war? Got a bunch of little friends with you? I see. I can see why the evil empire is considered such a great threat if they have commanders like this guy. He's truly, truly a threatening individual. I can see why the prof had a lot of trouble getting away from him. Guys. There we go. That's what we need to do. We need to have his gr grenadiers throw their bombs at him. Or just kill him with his dude. Not that threatening. I think it might be a little dazed, though. You and me, we're going out together. Alright, fine. You know what? Screw it. And stay down. No, oh, we were a little off from the warp gate, but that's alright. Alright, so that's two levels that we need to go back for the green gems, or gold gems, sorry. But nothing really we need to worry about. Alright, so, you know what? We're going to finish this level off with the boss. I normally only go up to the fives. That way we can just split it in half. However, I'm going to say right now, the next couple of levels are pretty lengthy. So we'll make as much progress in this as we can before we end it off here. He's adorable. I want him. I, I have to pet him. I have to pet the good dog. Oh, look how adorable he is. Oh, no. He's fighting back. No, let me love you, buddy. Please accept my love. I just want to pet the good doggo. Ow. He's so cylindrical. Right, come on, buddy. Nope. Stay down. Just let me stay, stay down and let me pet you like the good boy that you are. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, don't back kick me. I'm just trying to have fun with you, buddy. I don't mean you any harm. Alright, I, 
think we just need to keep shaking him to... Oh, wow, he is relentless now. I think we just need to keep shaking him until the gold gem pops out. Come on. Come on. Give it up. I know, I know it's in there. Just let it go. Open your mouth. What, what do you got in there, buddy? Open your mouth. Let me see what you got. Aw, oh, man. I petted him too hard. Oh, that's three levels. We need to go back for the gold gem at the end of this, but all right. Let's jump through the warp gate. He will forever be the goodest of boys. He, he was a very good boy. See? The ranking tells me so. Alright, everyone. That's going to do it for this. Next time on Mischief Makers, we're going to continue off on with Mount Snow. Hopefully finish everything off. But something tells me we're going to get a little lost along the way. I don't know. The next area seems to be a little bit foreboding. Alright, so I'll see you all next time. Later.